Hey guys, welcome to Earth It. Hope all of you are safe and healthy. It's a festival season, so we are going to prepare a very small, quick ethnic wall art. We'll be using cardboard over here, and I'm going to trace a pattern of an elephant. So we'll be uh, having two pieces which is going to face each other. If you're going to plan for a larger scale, plan for an MDF cutout rather than a cardboard because MDF cutout is going to last forever. Uh, but the cardboard, we need to do a little bit of maintenance. And next over here for the base, in order to give density to the cardboard, I am adding white cement. We can also add texture paste or we can also add gesso to get the bright shade. But in order to add the density and volume to the cardboard and strength to the cardboard, I am using white cement over here. Once it's dried for almost 8 to 12 hours, 12 to 14 hours, depending upon the size of the cardboard or size of the art, we will sand it up a little bit so that texture becomes smooth and even. Next, we'll sketch the template or like sketch the design where exactly we want again and decide on the material. So over here, we'll be using glass, we'll be using uh, the beads, we'll be using golden beads, we'll be using bright colors, a little subtle and bright colors. So over here, I'm mixing ultramarine blue and turquoise blue to get this shade. I kind of like this shade personally and it goes pretty well as an accent wall color as well for in home interior. Or you can also opt for furnitures of this color or you can also have wall decors of this color. It, it's definitely going to go well with almost all minimal and contemporary uh, interiors and residences. Also, if you have a very ethnic and traditional home, you can definitely add art pieces of this color to get the pop and get the vibrance. Since we have festivals lined up right now, it's very important and almost all of us will definitely want to accentuate our homes and like you know re give a revamp to our home. So this way these tiny pop of colors will definitely give in good vibrance and boost up our mood. So over here we can also use neon shades. Again neon shades are also something so funky and cool to get an art piece but again an art piece for that neon shade is going to be definitely different rather than this one since this is more on an ethnic line we'll be using these since it's a very tiny piece i'm using just the golden beads to enhance the furniture of the art piece so for example since it's an elephant i'm just going to use these golden beads to enhance the furniture. if it was a larger piece we would have definitely gone for a combination of two to three three different types of materials so we'll be using a combination of warm shade over here which is basically yellow and orange to get or enhance the fabric that's going to be on top of the elephant so once it's done, this is going to be the base material and make sure to give a real rough blend and make sure to give a very rough texture. So it shouldn't be a single shaded fabric. It is preferable if it is a dual shaded fabric because the elephant is going to be in a single color. You can also do vice versa. The fabric can be of a single color and the elephant can have multiple shades and tones over it. Next, once we're done fixing the mirrors, now it's time for us to give a little bit of detail. So for example, near the trunk, near the mouth of the elephant, we'll be using portrait pink to just get that very nice and cute touch of it. We'll be using crimson to highlight the shadow over here. So unlike the whole base of the elephant, unlike the whole body of the elephant, we'll be giving details on a very minute scale over here rather than focusing on a larger scale or on a vast scale. As usual, we'll be using white to give the highlights. Over here, we are using white to enhance the tusk to enhance the nails and to give a little bit of highlights throughout the painting so you can also have a combination of gray and white you can also have a combination of lighter color of the blue that we mix we can mix white with that to get a little lighter shade but since it's a very tiny piece and it's going to stand out in the wall i'm going to fix it in the wall so i do not need to give a lot of details for it and the mirror is the basic um key point or the focus point for this whole artwork so your artwork needs to be uh, having a focal point and you need to work on that so once everything is done we'll be using a fabric or you can also use a chart to back it up and then you can place it wherever you want like you can either stick it or you can also place it on your tables hope this video was useful meet you guys in the next video until then namaste